Scene Script Have you ever wondered what the future of virtual reality could look like? Could we possibly dive fully into a virtual universe? Imagine a world where the lines between reality and fantasy blur, where the digital and physical realms converge seamlessly. This is the concept of full dive virtual reality. It's a technology that promises not just to enhance our senses, but to completely immerse us in a different universe, an alternate reality if you will. As thrilling as this sounds, it's not without its implications. On the one hand, full dive VR holds immense potential benefits. Imagine for example the possibilities for education, entertainment, even therapy. On the other hand, issues of cybersecurity, psychological impact and societal change loom large on the horizon. These are no small considerations. They require our attention, our understanding and perhaps most importantly, our discussion. As we ponder on these questions let us take a step back and delve into the evolution of virtual reality. To appreciate the future, we must first understand the past. The journey of virtual reality technology is a fascinating one. Let's take a step back to the 1950s, a time when the world was just beginning to grasp the marvels of technology. It was in this era that a visionary named Morton Heilig introduced the Sensorama. This wasn't just an arcade-style theater cabinet, it was an immersive experience offering stereo sound, wind, vibration and even aroma. The Sensorama wasn't technically virtual reality but it laid the groundwork for what was to come. In the 1960s another pioneer Ivan Sutherland took a bold leap forward. He developed the first head-mounted display or HMD known as the Sword of Damocles. Why such a dramatic name you ask? Well the device was so heavy that it had to be suspended from the ceiling. The Sword of Damocles was a far cry from the sleek headsets we see today, but it was a critical step in the evolution of VR. As we moved into the 1980s the world of video games began to explore virtual reality. A company named Atari, which you may recognize, set up a research lab dedicated to VR. Unfortunately, the lab closed due to the video game crash of the mid-80s, but not before planting the seed for VR gaming. In 1985, a man named Jaron Lanier, often credited as the father of virtual reality, founded VPL Research. This was the first company to sell VR goggles and gloves. The gear was rudimentary by today's standards but it was revolutionary for its time. People could now interact with a virtual world in a way that had only been dreamed of before. Fast forward to the 21st century we witnessed a significant leap in VR technology. And that my friends is where we'll pick up in the next segment. From the dawn of VR to the cutting-edge innovations of the present day, the journey is far from over. The future holds unimaginable possibilities, and we're just getting started. The 21st century brought about a revolution in VR technology, thanks to advancements in computer technology and the internet. This era witnessed the birth of modern VR headsets that have changed the way we experience virtual worlds. Among these pioneering devices, the Oculus Rift, HTC Vive and PlayStation VR stand out for their contribution to this rapidly evolving field. The Oculus Rift, launched by Facebook in 2016, was a game changer. It offered a high field of view and low latency head tracking, creating a sense of presence that was unparalleled at the time. This wasn't just a new gadget, it was a new medium, a new way of experiencing and creating content. Around the same time, HTC and Valve teamed up to release the Vive. This headset introduced room-scale VR, allowing users to physically move within their virtual environment. Imagine walking around a virtual museum, or ducking behind cover in a virtual war zone. The Vive made these experiences possible. PlayStation on the other hand, brought VR to the masses. With the PlayStation VR, Sony leveraged its gaming console's widespread popularity to provide a more accessible entry point to high-quality VR. This made virtual reality a household term, and brought us a step closer to the dream of full-dive VR. But it wasn't just the headsets that evolved, we also saw the introduction of motion tracking and haptic feedback. Motion tracking captures the user's movements and translates them into the virtual world, while haptic feedback provides tactile sensations that mimic the feel of virtual objects. This combination of technologies has brought us closer to truly immersive experiences, yet, the journey is far from over. Despite the leaps and bounds in VR technology, we're still a long way from achieving the level of immersion depicted in science fiction. The goal? Full Dive VR, a system that can stimulate all five senses, providing a virtual experience that is indistinguishable from reality. These advancements have brought us closer to the concept of Full Dive VR, but how close are we really? Full Dive VR, a concept once thought to be only science fiction, is now within the realm of possibility. 
Our journey down the road to Full Dive VR is filled with fascinating scientific developments and exciting technological advancements. The most critical aspect of Full Dive VR is the interface between the brain and the computer. This is where the magic happens. The brain-computer interface, or BCI, is the key to unlocking the potential of Full Dive VR. Current research is focused on refining the BCI to create a seamless, immersive VR experience. Neural Link technology is one such advancement that's paving the way for Full Dive VR. It's an ambitious project that aims to create high bandwidth, safe, and biocompatible devices that can read and write neural signals. Imagine a future where we can tap into the brain's computing power and interact with virtual worlds using our thoughts alone. However, the road to Full Dive VR isn't without its bumps. Scientists grapple with challenges like decoding the complex language of the brain and creating a device that can safely interface with it. There's also the question of how to stimulate the brain to create a convincingly real virtual experience. Ethical considerations also come into play. How do we ensure the technology is used responsibly? What about the potential for misuse? These are questions that need to be addressed as we move forward. Despite these challenges, the excitement for Full Dive VR is palpable. Every day, researchers are making strides in understanding the brain and how to interface with it. Major tech firms are investing heavily in VR and BCI technologies, a clear sign that Full Dive VR is more than just a dream. We're at the cusp of a new era in virtual reality, an era where the lines between the physical and the virtual blur, where our thoughts can shape our experiences. It's an exciting time, filled with endless possibilities and potential. With every technological breakthrough, we inch closer to the reality of Full Dive VR. As we edge closer to making Full Dive VR a reality, we must also consider the implications it will have on society. The potential benefits are tremendous. Imagine a world where education is not confined to the four walls of a classroom, but can be experienced in a fully immersive, interactive, virtual environment. Or consider the medical field, where doctors could perform complex surgeries remotely, with precision and accuracy previously unimaginable. And let's not forget entertainment, where the line between spectator and participant becomes increasingly blurred. However, as with any technological advancement, there are potential downsides. The risk of addiction is real, as the allure of a virtual world could prove too enticing for some. Moreover, the loss of human interaction, the touch, the physical connection, could lead to a society more isolated than ever. The future of Full Dive VR is both exciting and challenging. As we continue to push the boundaries of technology we must also ensure that we are prepared for the changes it will bring.